What's going on everyone and welcome to another episode of High Side Gaijin Sun. And today, you guessed it, we're doing another food review. Another one. So today guys, um, I came across a drink that seemed a little bit weird. Spelling looked kind of weird. It's, it seemed like it was something that you would find in probably a Nordic country, just the way it's it's spelt. But the drink that I'm talking about is Skal, right? But apparently it's a Japanese drink. It's been around since around, I want to say 19, 1970s, right? It's a little bit uh, condensation because it's kind of hot in the car. Yeah, so it says since 1971, it's Skal is our proprietary milk-based pop, the unique hybrid of skim milk and soda. So let's take a sip of it and you will find it so cool and refreshing. Love Skull, always our pride. Okay, so apparently this is a milk and soda mix. So I've never ever would have dreamed of a combination like this, but apparently milk, like fizzy milk, the concept of fizzy milk has been around for centuries. So apparently the Mongolians, they would ferment mare's milk right because the mongolians were a very equestrian group of nomads that had a lot of horses and stuff like that so they would have mare's milk they would ferment it and it would have this this kind of carbonated um fizzy milk if you will called kumis so you can look that up um it's pretty interesting but yeah so this is skal right it's supposed to be carbonated milk it doesn't sound too appetizing to me but you know, I'll try, I'll try something once, depending on what it is, but here goes nothing. Skull. Ugh, definitely carbonated. Hmm. It looks like, uh, definitely carbonated white stuff in there. Smells, it doesn't smell bad. You can definitely smell the the milk. It smells like, it smells like a mixture of, I mean, you would guess it, tansan or like carbonated water and some sort of like a yogurt kind of deal. But uh, I'm kind of apprehensive of the taste because I can't think of how milk and soda can go together. But uh, why not try it, you know? Come by. Oh my God! Wow. This is actually really good. Wow. You barely taste the milk at all. It's almost as if they, uh, instead of using like, I guess, full fat whole milk, they use some kind of like skim, like not skim, but like uh, condensed milk. A lot of the uh, Caribbean people know what I'm talking about. Like the condensed milk you, that comes in a can and you open up the can, there's like this white syrup that's super sweet, right? Wow, this is actually pretty good. I'm surprised. It's like a a slightly, very slightly creamy, very rich Sprite, but not as sweet, not as sweet as like American soda, but you can, you can, it's, it's, it actually, I, I'll take that back. Uh, I guess milk and soda does go together because this is, this is pretty tasty. Wow. No wonder they've been around since the 1970s. This is really good. Really good stuff. So if you guys are in Japan, I would definitely recommend this drink. This is, it's really nice. It's, it's so, it's not, it's not like, you know, so complex of a taste. It's a simple, ever so slightly creaminess, like the, the very milky taste that gives it and, and it also gives the whole drink itself like a, a more rich a more volume of body when you drink it it's not 
it's 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 very light as well for a milk drink it's very light as well you can you almost barely taste the 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 milk at all actually man this is this is some good stuff yeah as i said before if you're in japan try out skull this is a pretty pretty good drink wow i think i found my my top five favorite drink of all time try it out But with that being said, guys, that's all I have for today. Remember to keep blessed and stay tuned. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.